Black Hat Now, DEF CON next week, another big Oh, no, right conference. now. Right Actually, now. Right now. Um, what were the big themes coming out of this conference? I, I would describe the 15,000 that were there. It's like the Hunger Games of hacking. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was pure, pure chaos. You had competition. You had surreptitious. I mean, any, any two-mile radius of, of where you were going to go, you stood a chance of being, being a target. But the themes coming out of it, a lot more business focus, a lot more business risk, and you saw a lot more uh, of industry players going there to collaborate and to learn because it's really important for business to learn what is the context of my cyber risk. I need to understand how that's going to impact my business instead of just the tech itself. You had the tech, you had artificial intelligence, you mm -hmm. had IoT, mobile, car hacking, all of the latest trends that are coming out. But this year in particular, I think I saw more um, leather shoes and suits <laughs> coming out of there than I ever saw before. All right, uh, so you started your career as a federal agent, worked your way up, yeah. and I'm curious what you think are the biggest risks out there right now on the cyber battlefield? I think it's a changing landscape of where enterprises are going from an IT infrastructure. Mm -hmm. It was third platform, which is big data, mobile, social, and then now we're going into arguably the fourth platform of materializing that to connect the living and device IoT driven. So by 2020, we're looking at over 50 billion IoT devices and sensors connected. To me, that's a complete wild west of the next attack surface that's occurring. Mobile banking, app driven world, I mean, I don't know one app I'm not using all the time. So we're completely elevating to another platform. We're no longer hardware based, mm -hmm. we're software defined, mm -hmm. hosted in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So two, two big areas that we're just starting. So we're migrating so fast that security tends to have gaps in catching up to being able to monitor and detect for that uh, proactively. There's been so much discussion about Russia and state sponsored hacking. How concerned are you about that? I think state-sponsored hacking is a global challenge. There isn't any one single nation state. And we've been battling this from the early days of the Pentagon in the late 1990s. I was in that seat myself, too. And it's, it's par for the course. And I think the acceleration, the complexity that we see now, you start to see more sophistication, you start to see more frequency, and attackers are treating it like a business. So they have a business model by which they approach attacks. It's no longer, let's throw everything at the wall and let's see what sticks. And maybe we'll get something, maybe we don't. But now they're more concerned about, can I disrupt data? Can I, is there a destruction there? And they kind of manipulate data in such a way, just like um, trading floor markets. So if you get minute changes in data, you can start to shape economic models, global, they call, them, they call it cyber economics or global economics of cyber.